afloat with Henry Morgan. The notorious buccaneer Henry Morgan captures the Spanish ship. This is tragic news for the Spanish governor of Cuba, Don Pietro Pizarro, because the ship contains some of his own personal treasure, including a fabulous Aztec necklace. Diaz, a renegade Spanish member of Morgan's crew, covets the necklace to give to Kitty, the serving wench at the Dolphin Tavern in Port Royal. He incites two members of the crew to kill Morgan. Morgan is saved by a stranger, and they go to the Dolphin Tavern. Kitty is taken by this man, who says his name is Jeffrey Hunter, but she is more taken by the necklet which is shown to her by Morgan. And after they leave, she tells Diaz that she'll be his woman if he gets for her the Aztec necklace. And I mean it, Diaz. Get me that necklet and I'll be yours. <laughs> Dear not Tim. That is something I've dreamed of doing. The moment I set my eyes on it, I could see it lying around your white neck. In my mind, I could see myself fastening it there. Tonight you did boast loud and long as to how you could buy my freedom to make me yours. You don't need to buy it now. Just give me the necklace proof of your love. Oh, you give a man a hard task. It isn't easy to take anything from Captain Morgan when he decides it for himself. Then mayhap if I'm nice to Captain Morgan, he will give it to me of his own accord. Uh, you want no, to... no, no, I just fancy that necklace. Remember, dear, there are plenty here in this tavern this very night who would willingly get it for me at the price I'm offering. Someday you will drive me to a stake when I will kill you. A woman can make a man jealous only so far, and then after that it's dangerous for a woman. Or mayhap the tall, handsome stranger who was with Captain Henry could uh, get it for me. You would drive me crazy. What was it Morgan was talking to the man about? Who is he? Oh, how do I know? Would you like to know more about the handsome stranger? I distrust this sudden friendship. Mayhap I could find out from the man all about him. You'll leave him alone, or by heaven I'll kill you. You get the necklet for me, and then you'll have no need to be jealous. You attract me, dears. A lot. I could be happy with you if I had the necklet. That's my price. Bring me the necklet, and you need never have any jealousy of any other man. <laughs> Captain Morgan, I beg of you, please go back to the ship and put that necklet in some safe hiding place. So it is careful you are over my health, is it? A hundred men tonight wanted to get their hands on it. And you're fool enough to roam this part of Port Royal at night alone. Next time, mayhap, I'll not be about when you're set upon. Relieve me temporarily of the necklet. Here, take it. Take it back to my ship, the Flying Gull. Captain Morgan, you trust me enough to give me the necklet with instructions to take it back to your ship? Aye, Hunter, that's what I said. I trust as a reward for the service you did me tonight. Wait aboard ship till I return. Here, take this ring. Show it to the man on watch and he'll know that you've come from me. He'll take you to my quarters. Wait there until I return. When will that be? That I don't know. I have business to attend to, but I'll see you, Hunter, back aboard the Flying Gulf. So, you're back again, Morgan. Yes, Sir Thomas. I must apologize for this late visit, but I was detained in town. Your trip was successful. Highly successful, Your Excellency. Hmm. I'm glad that you dallied before coming to see me. While you're away, things have changed, Morgan. Changed considerably. Uh, what mean you? I have received from England documents set with the Rose Seal. Documents which came directly to me as Sir Thomas Motford, Governor of Jamaica. Not to the Assembly. And these documents contain what, Sir Thomas? Spain has protested to England against men of your type. England is beginning to frown on buccaneers. I've been asked to see that it's stopped. Oh. <laughs> no laughing matter, Morgan. No laughing matter at all. I know it is a serious matter. It was not that I was laughing at. It was that you should be ordered to stamp out this notorious practice. <laughs> I am here to carry out the king's wishes. I... Publicly, you old rogue, but not on the sly. Publicly, you must condemn me, but privately, you give me welcome when I return from my trips. That's how it is, is it not? Aye, that's how it is, Morgan. But I have a solution. Good. Let me hear it. Uh, an admiral could not be a buccaneer, could he? By St. David. 
Is that what you have in mind? You line my pockets well, Morgan. I seek not to lose that which you put into my coffers. But I must obey the king's instructions. You understand that. As governor of Jamaican waters, I will give you a cloak of respectability. And the moment you sail into Port Royal, you will become my vice admiral. Hmm. What you do beyond Jamaican waters, of course, is beyond my control. You sly fox. And what of the other buccaneers? Hmm. Those who don't join your fleet will be hunted down and wiped out. Oh, so that's what it is, is it? You're giving me a license. You're granting me a license to become the chief buccaneer of the Caribbean. Oh, no. I am creating you vice admiral with the power to find your own fleet. Your main task will be to drive the other buccaneers off the seas. And of course, what you do beyond the seas of Jamaica is entirely your own business. For creating this position for you, I naturally require recompense. And recompense you shall have, man. Well, you'd better see I get it, Morgan, because I am supreme on this island. My word is law. I hold your destiny in my hands. Oh, that reminds me. I received another mail on the last packet that arrived. Can you set sail almost immediately? Aye. For what reason? The ship called the Elizabeth Ann is due in any day now. I want you to go and meet her. Give her protection and bring her safely back to Port Royal. For what reason? Oh, there's the kinswoman of mine aboard her. Antoinette de Lacy. She's French and a distant relation, you know. Her parents have died and she's coming to join me here in Jamaica. So I'd like you to meet Elizabeth Ann and bring her safely to Port Royal. You're sure that that is the reason? You're not sending me out to a trap, are you? A trap? Oh, why should I when you lie in my pockets and I've just made you by certain rule? That office might have been created to throw dust in my eyes. You might fear me and wish to lull my senses with false promises and have me sail into a trap. But why? Because the king's told you to be rid of buccaneers and you fear me. I don't trust you, Sir Thomas Mockford, governor of Jamaica. I know you for what you are. I'll meet your vessel, but I'll be well prepared. Oh, this is all unnecessary. No, it is unnecessary, thinky. I know, Sir Thomas, that you'd sell me into trouble if you thought it was to your advantage. When I heard you wanted to see me, Cortez, I could not believe my ears. After giving you another ship, don't tell me you have failed me a second time. No, Your Excellency, Don Pietro. I have come to tell you that I have redeemed myself. Redeemed yourself? Cortez, what do you mean? Two days out from Cuba, I sighted a ship. I recognized her as British. I engaged her in combat. And I have captured her. Spain is avenged for the loss of my other ship. Indeed? Is that so? Yes. And did this British ship carry as much treasure as the sheep you lost? Has that been replaced? I ask you, Cortes, have you replaced the fabulous Aztec necklace? Their cargo, senor, was mainly silks and other goods sent for trade in Jamaica. <sighs> A mere pettiness to the cargo you lost. Was she uh, carrying passengers? Quite a number. Mm, we will send them and the crew to the slave markets. They will at least bring back some small return. Ah, oh, but when I think of the loss of the Aztec necklace... I feel bitter about the whole thing. And you come prattling about the price you have taken. Mayhap, Your Excellency, there is something of great value aboard the ship. Well, what is it? I discovered amongst the passengers of the Elizabeth Ann a girl. Very beautiful. And she will fetch a good price. Don Pietro, you must take my meaning. You will see for yourself. She is not English. She is French. Her name is Antoinette de Lacy. And she is a kinswoman of Sir Thomas Mockford, governor of Jamaica. She was sailing to Port Royal to join him. So, this is interesting. You have kept the woman safe? When you see her, you will understand it was with difficulty. But I succeeded. I took the liberty of bringing her with me here into your home. She waits outside in the anteroom now. She speaks quite fluent Spanish. Hmm. Bring her in. Bring that woman in here. Oh, dear. Senor, please, please help me. Don't harm me, please, I beg of you. Senorita, there is no need for you to be afeard. Please don't send me to the slave market. I beg, I beseech you. It would seem, Cortes, that Mademoiselle de Lacy thinks we ill-treat women. You need have no fear, Senorita. You shall be taken care of, looked after. Did I hear you ring, Papa? Mademoiselle Antoinette de Lacy, I want you to meet my daughter, Dolores. Dolores, take the mademoiselle. 
she will tell you all about herself. Treat her like an honored guest. I will see you in a very short while, just when I finish speaking with Cortes. See, si, Papa. Come with me. Oh, you are right, Cortes. You have brought me a treasure. The kinswoman of Sir Thomas Mutford. I know Sir Thomas works hand in glove with that pirate Henry Morgan. So, in exchange for Morgan, Sir Thomas will have returned to him his kinswoman, Mademoiselle de Lacy. Messages must be sent to him immediately, at once. Well, Dolores, what do you think of our guest? Father, have you sent messages yet to Sir Thomas Mottford? No, child, not until tomorrow. Then, Father, do not send them. Huh? Why not? I have been talking to Mademoiselle de Lacy, asking her about herself. Well? She has never seen Sir Thomas Mottford. He has never seen her. As you know, I speak French and English very well. See, si, see, si, but where is this leading to, Dolores? My Aztec necklace went to Jamaica. I want it back. Now is the chance to get it back myself and to trap Henry Morgan at the same time. I will go to Jamaica masquerading as Antoinette de Lacy. How will fare this beautiful Spanish spy on the island of Jamaica? Listen to the next episode of Afloat with Henry Morgan. Mm-hmm.